Aloha, Coach Thane here with episode two of Big Island Football 2019 on the Big Island Sports Network. Gonna check in with Pop Warner before we get to the BWF action. Checked out a three-way scrimmage between Paneva, Kale Kaha, and Waimea this weekend and uh, was uh, quite surprised at the advanced uh, nature of the offenses nowadays. Keahe Silva dropping a dime there. Could only get uh, the long range plays was camped out in the end zone. Nice long run by Paneva. Shooting on an iPad and uh, that limited the uh, highlights I could give you. But uh, the days of uh, simplified offenses, there's uh, Silva helping himself out with a pick. The days of simplified offenses uh, in Pop Warner, this is 12 and unders. Uh, Silva with another pick there. If you're going to be a QB, it's nice to help yourself out by picking them off when you're at safety. Keakaha turned the corner. they got some big boys uh, all the way across the line and in the backfield. Once they uh, get their blocking assignments uh, perfected, they're going to be doing some damage. Silva looking long again. Nice one-handed stab there. Paneva has a couple tall receivers, and Silva is accurate. That could be trouble. And they've got some running backs too, does Paneva. Nice long breakaway there for the TD. And again, this is an early season scrimmage. And Silva looking over the middle, 19. Don't have any names uh, for most of these kids. Fire drill, going for the extra point, but uh, isn't there when you're the smallest kid on the team. Gotta be able to run for your life. Two point conversion. And Keoka gonna power it in for a TD there. So looking forward to Pop Warner action this season. Now we're gonna move on to BAAF and uh, Mission Viejo visiting Konawina. And uh, you know, 33rd ranked team in the nation. Uh, gonna have some athletes. They came out early and uh, got on the board. But Kona Wina is a well-coached team with some talented players here. Jesse Conda from Boo Jones for a nice uh, pickup. So they weren't going to lay down. Uh, they were going to compete all night. And uh, Bredesen with a big breakup. Jones looking downfield. Finds Roback for a nice pickup. Jones this time finding Conda again, and here's, uh, I'm right in on the action. We're gonna give you the uh, wide angle view of this particular play, courtesy of uh, Mission Viejo. Thanks for the help there, guys. But uh, you see the same play, and you see me along the sidelines, watch that back pedal. And another instance of me putting myself in harm's way to get that shot. I had an eye on the ball the whole time, but the uh, receiver tips it, bounces right off my monopod. Good stuff. Nice hit there by Roback. Baptista with a theft there. Riley Sato, one of my favorite players on the team. Just good hard running. Finds a line, takes what he can get. Baptista over the middle for a nice reception. Jones finding uh, Sato out of the backfield. Good pickup. Buda Roback. And a nice uh, attempt at a pick there by Muti. And again, uh, the Diablos knew they had been in a game. I think many thought the score would be more lopsided, 38-14 in favor of uh, Mission Viejo. In the D doing some work. Boo continuing to find uh, players downfield, just weren't able to string as much together as they would like. Again, the defense is solid, and uh, another pick there. This time, Roback gets in on the action. A 
Manahu Ambrosio with a nice pickup. Bassa moving the ball downfield. Now roll back for the touchdown. Final Mission Viejo 38, Kona Wina 14, Kona Wina at Honoka'a on Friday. Now let's check out Keao hosting the Vikings. And Elijah Apau has been doing this for a number of years now. Uh, you think people would have got the memo not to kick to the kid, but uh, nevertheless, here we are. Elijah Apau gonna take it to the house. Touchdown, Hilo. We knew the Vikings had a ton of offensive weapons, and they uh, showed that this game. Here's uh, Miyasato to Aguiar. Nice pickup. Miyasato looking downfield to a wide open Tiogonko. Touchdown, Vikings. Miyasato finding Aguiar. Breaks free for the touchdown. Tiogonko. Takes another short reception, a lot of yards after catch. Sorry for the uh, shaky uh, video. Got myself uh, a janky uh, tripod right now. Got to get that fixed. This time it's a pow on D with the pick. Gonna find some blocking. Use that speed and elusiveness to take it into the end zone. This time, they punted away from a pal, but uh, Ogata has wheels as well. Finds a, a lane down the sideline. In for another punt return touchdown for the Vikings. And again, the D, even though they were missing a player or two, able to uh, get good pressure. Yogonko in at QB. Hands off to Hassan Ritter, takes it to the house, touchdown Vikings. There's Picio Mercado looking deep, nice pick. Number 23 there. A Ricky Mamone siding in at QB. Pulls it on the RPO, nice pick up for the freshman. This time he hands it off, but uh, is gonna make some plays during the course of the game. Didn't uh, come out their way, but uh, here was Picio Mercado with a nice uh, quarterback keep up the middle. Looks downfield, nice uh, reception for a first down there. Good reception. Should have been stopped short of a good yards after the catch. And uh, again, KL moving the ball, just can't punch it in the end zone. Final 56 0 Hilo. For more information on purchasing action photography, highlights, recruiting programs, and more, go to BigIslandSports.com Media Services page. We were in Kau for the Trojans' return to 11 man action against Kamehameha. Here at Tabuyo Kahele, find Chartran Panera downfield. Nice pickup. This time it's a give to Austin Wilson. Finds a little bit of running room on the left-hand side. Give to Apua Filche, nice cutback. Finds some room up the middle. Here, Tabuyo Kahele finds Kahai. Trojans containing pretty well, though. Trojan QB, Blanca Amsa looking for running room, runs into Toby Lau. Watch out for this kid, only a freshman, bringing the heat. Austin Wilson again. Find some running room downfield, stopped by a host of Trojans. Another give to Wilson, trying to find that end zone, coming up short. Leo Kahele just going to keep it himself, punches it in for the TD. Just like the uh, Pohoa Daggers returning to 11-man, the uh, 
Trojans making some plays. They have a, a swarming defense, a lot of uh, scrappy kids willing to get out there and uh, swarm the ball, make some tackles. But uh, they're susceptible to the big play, and the offense is having a hard time, uh, you know, stringing plays together. But, uh, you know, as they uh, get more game action under their belts, we'll look for, for those uh, areas to improve. But, uh, you know, for right now, final 48 nothing in favor of the uh, Kamehameha Warriors. But a, uh, nice to see 11 man football returning to uh, Ka'u. Check out highlights of Honoka'a at Waikea. Gomes left unblocked. Tackle for loss for the Dragons. Nakamoto, short in stature, but uh, if you're running that triple option, he can hide from you. Nice pickup. Nakamoto looking downfield. Don't have all the uh, rosters, but uh, nice high point by number three there. Gomes picking up where he left off last year. Dominant defensive player. Nakamoto with give up the middle. Nice pick up by the fullback. Nakamoto pops out of nowhere. Big pick up. Took like an inside handoff to Salazar. He's going to find some running room. Bounce it outside. Take it to the house. Touchdown, Dragons. Waikea looking for some running room up the middle. Gomes there puts a stop to that. Nakamoto Baltazar looking downfield. But gets picked. Nice return. But Waikea going to return the favor. Brown picks off Nakamoto. Again, nice return. Kamau in for an injured Baltazar looking downfield, but good pass defense by the Dragons. Nakamoto, pinpoint accuracy, dropping it in a very small window there. Give to Reinbold up the middle, touchdown Dragons. Now here we have a jet sweep to Micah Hano Hano. Takes it into the end zone, touchdown Dragons. Back-to-back, Hano-Hano, 21-yard scamper into the end zone. Touchdown, Honoka'a. Now again, Waikea made some plays. Nakamoto Baltazar, nice uh, run up the middle. Defense with a uh, nice tackle for loss there. But uh, again, unable to uh, string a lot of things together. Too many mistakes, turnovers at the wrong time. These are the things that kill young teams. But hey, they can bring the heat. Tackle for loss here. Kaili Paka with the pick. Again, nice tackle. They're grabbing the jersey. The problem is. You know, one play after making a stop like that, they'll give up a touchdown pass. Make a sack, give up a touchdown run. So you got to start uh, stringing these good plays together. Final, Honoka'a 39, YK 0. Don't miss a minute of exciting Big Island Sports content. Subscribe to the Big Island Sports Network YouTube channel and activate notifications today. Pahoa played their first 11-man game in 18 years against HPA, but the Kamakani's Justin Lena spoiled their return, so much so that he was named the Hawaii Tribune Herald's Player of the Week. Here's Lena picking off Pahoa's broad Melander. 
he's going to take that to the house. Pick six. Here's Zachary Mackhold going to get in on the action. Takes the pitch on the option. He's going to find the end zone touchdown, Kamakani. Oh, to punt. Daggers are covering it, but uh, Zachary Mackhold paying close attention. Sees an opportunity. Takes advantage. Nice punt return for Mackhold. Pitch to Lena. He's going to find the end zone again. Touchdown, Kamakani. Kealoha with the give to Hirayama. Up the middle, find some running room. Going to come up just short of the goal line. And Hanano going to take it in for the score. Kamakane playing some tough D as well. Swarming tackle there. And more Justin Lena. Weaving his way through defenders, finds the end zone. Touchdown, Kamakani. Kamakani D under new head coach Kaluka Mayava. Galgan with the uh, tackle for loss there. Kealoha going to find Brigado. Nice pickup. Breaking tackles, yards after catch. I'll beat a black kicker. Connor gets in on the action. Field goal. And here's Samura getting loose for a statement sack. And more swarming defense from the Kamakani. Now again, Pahoa made a few plays. Kalani Kaeha stood out on defense, but uh, couldn't string enough plays together. This was a nice one, though. Duke Palama weaving his way downfield. Breaking a few tackles, outrunning the Kamakani. Almost losing it, but uh, regains possession into the end zone. Touchdown, Daggers. This time, Broad Melander finds a wide open Palama. And he takes it to the house for another Dagger touchdown. Final 51-14 HPA. Junior Varsity Highlights brought to you by the Collegiate Prep Bowl. Promoting higher education through sports. Let's check out some JV action. Warriors versus Honoka. An initial uh, fumble. Oftentimes when you have that bobble on a kickoff, it uh, throws off the coverage and you can come up with this uh, good return. Nice blocking by the uh, Dragons here, sealing the line, kicking out the DBs. Touchdown, Dragons. YK looking for a big chunk of yardage going deep downfield, but uh, Honoka with some good defense and a nice pick. YK with a handoff, nice blocking by the line. Juke freezes the linebacker. Nice block here. Kid gets his head turned around so it wasn't blindside. And uh, one last tap of the break, going to take it to the house for a touchdown. YK have played much better in the second half uh, than the first half. And this was actually one of the most competitive, if not the most competitive, uh, game of the weekend. More D by YK here. Line penetration, tackle for loss. And they're going to pick up a late touchdown. Final score, 34-20, Dragons. Cougar JV versus Vikings JV. Kaluna QB looking for some room up the middle. Backs out. Finds a lane on the right-hand side. Picks up a couple blocks. Looking to score, but gets bumped out of bounds. Here he finds Pasco up the middle. Touchdown, Vikings. Kaluna moves up into the pocket. Looks downfield. Fires for Kai, leaping catch. 
They're not going to track him down. Touchdown, Vikings. From Reyes Orsinio in on the tackle. Kaluna finds Nakapa'ahu across the middle for a nice pickup. Here we have special teams getting in on the action. Hunt block right at the goal line. That's going to set up Kaluna to the outside, bouncing it with the keeper for the touchdown. Kaluna rolls out, feeling some pressure. Finds Nakapa'ahu. He's going to take it down close to the goal line. Once again, Kaluna. Nakapa'ahu is going to finish it off. Crosses the goal line for the touchdown. Nakapa'ahu had a game. Another reception here. Kaluna looking downfield. Guess who? Nakaba'ahu. Kao with a kickoff. Bounces short. Picked up. Looks like Nakaba'ahu again. Can't read the number very well, but I believe that's the case. Finds a seam. Breaks a tackle. Going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Viking. KO on offense, looking downfield, that's going to be picked. KO has a pretty competitive JV squad, relatively speaking. This was one of the most competitive games of the weekend. Good defense there. They just need some more uh, game time. Offense clicking from time to time. Nice downfield reception by number one there. And they did put a couple scores up on the board. QB directing traffic, finding his man deep in the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. Again, good blocking. Nice running up the middle. Hopefully this is something the Cougars can build on. Tough defense by the Cougars. Nobody open downfield. Coverage sack there. Good penetration. Tackle for a short game. Cougars D going to deny the touchdown here. Good open field tackle. Again, tackle for loss. Taking advantage of that high snap. Again, good swarming team tackles there by the Cougar JV defense. And late in the game, the offense puts another score on the board. Final, Hilo 35, Cougars 14. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Big Island Football 2019. Tune in next week for another episode. Mahalo.